Hello, I'm Melissa. Welcome to my channel, Lemon Balm Yoga. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and do so now by clicking on the link that you will see in this corner here. Once you do that, go ahead and grab a yoga strap. My yoga strap today is eight feet long. You don't necessarily need eight feet, maybe a six foot. Um, that one would be perfectly fine. If you don't have a strap, grab a belt or anything long enough, maybe even a long towel. Um, just make do with what you have. Once you grab your prop, your belt, your strap, meet me on the mat and we will get started. And meet me in an easy seated position, shins or ankles crossed. We're just gonna set our strap in our lap for now. Bring in our hands onto our knees. Feel our shoulders loop down the back, shoulders are stacking over hips. Head is over heart. The chin is slightly tucked, so the chin is parallel to the ground. Going ahead and allowing the eyes to close. Taking a moment to ground. Notice how you feel. Allowing anything that has happened earlier in your day, go to the side. Giving yourself permission to be present, tuning into the body. Bring in that slight constriction into the back of the throat, your ujjayi breath. As you take your deepened breaths, noticing a sense of calm take over. On your next inhale, reaching the arms up, out, and around. Reaching tall. Shoulders are still relaxed here. You're exhaling. Inhale. And on this exhale, allow the palms to come together, bringing the thumbs to heart center. Taking a moment to set an intention for your practice, something that you can focus on for your practice, but also take off of the mat with you, trusting what comes up. Acknowledging your connection with God, Feeling gratitude in your heart. Taking a full inhale. As you exhale, allow the head to bow towards the hands, honoring this time on your mat. Beautiful. As you inhale, bringing the head back to neutral, fluttering the eyes open. Go ahead and take in your strap. And I have mine folded in half just because mine's extra long. We're going to bring the arms out in front of us. The hands will be wider than shoulder distance. 
As we inhale, we're going to reach the arms over the head. As you exhale, you want to be able to bring the arms behind you without having to wiggle the shoulders. So if you're too tight, you may have to kind of wiggle to get it up and down. We want to have enough resistance here where we're getting a stretch, but where we're not having to strain and move around. Inhale, lifts you up. And exhale and in front. Inhale, lifts you up. And exhale and behind. Great. As you move through this, you may find a little more space and be able to bring the hands a little closer together. Great, on this inhale, as you lift up, we're gonna keep the arms overhead. Shoulders are relaxed into their sockets. As you exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale through center, and exhale, side bend to your left. Working to keep both sit bones grounded. Great, lift that through center. As you exhale, bring the arms out in front of you. Go ahead and switch the cross of the feet, taking the opposite foot in front. Finding your grounding once again here. And then we'll inhale, reach back up. As you exhale, bring the right arm back down towards the ground. As you exhale, you're gonna allow that left arm to fold in we're going to make a big circle. Inhale, lifting this back up. And exhale, bending and folding. Inhale, lifts you up. And exhale, bend and then fold. Okay, inhale, lifts you up. And then taking it in the opposite direction. One more round. As you exhale, release the strap down. Allow the arms to come by your side. Inhale, loop shoulders towards ears. And exhale and back and down. Great, go ahead and extend the legs out in front of you. You can always place a blanket or a block under the sit bones to lift you up. If you feel like this is already too much for the hamstrings and you're not able to sit up tall, then go ahead and place a little something under the sit bones. From there, we're going to go ahead and take our strap, and you may need to bend the knees to do so, and place the strap, the middle of the strap, around the balls of both feet and then lengthen the legs back out. You'll have the strap in each hand. And as we inhale, we're gonna find length here, shoulders looped on the back. As you exhale, starting to walk the hands down. So you can take both straps in both hands. And it's not about how far that you're hinging forward here. We're concentrating on finding length in the spine. That's where the strap is nice and handy. Taking deep, full breaths. As you exhale, you may find just the tiny bit of space that you can lean into. Full inhale. Full exhale. You can always walk the hands a little further down the strap, 
We'll take one more full breath here. Great, and then slowly release and walking up the strap, placing the strap aside, bending the knees, walking the hands behind you, fingertips towards you. As you inhale, we're gonna lift the hips, coming into reverse table. Shoulders are squeezing in towards each other. And the head is an extension of the neck. Nice and long neck. Full inhale. Full exhale. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower the hips. Cross over the ankles. Make your way into your downward facing dog. Spreading fingers wide. Pressing into all 10 fingers. You want to make an inverted V here. And if the hamstrings are tight, that's fine. You can always keep a bend in the knees. We're trying to find a nice long spine, allowing the shoulders to loop down the back. Finding that ujjayi breath. Full inhale. Full exhale. Great. We're gonna walk the hands back to us now. Make sure that you have your strap close by. As you inhale, find your half lift. Fingertips can walk out in front of you. Our hands can walk to shins. Feel the shoulders loop down the back. Weight is shifting into the balls of the feet. Full inhale. As you exhale, fold. Root in both feet to lift all the way up. And then exhale, fold and all the way back down. Bend in the knees as much as you need to. Great, we're gonna take our strap now and place the middle of the strap around the ball of the right foot. And then we're gonna come up to stand tall. Starting to shift the weight into the left foot. Instead of letting that left hip come out to the side, we're finding that energetic energy between our right and left sides as if you're zipping up a wetsuit. So when you're zipping up a wetsuit, you're lifting everything in and up. We're gonna shift the weight into the left foot and bend that right knee, flexing the right toes towards us. From here, you may start to extend that right leg straight. We're breathing here and we're keeping the hips nice and square. A lot of times that right hip wants to creep up, but we're allowing that right hip to drop in line with the left. And it's not about lifting the leg high, we want to find length in our spine still and not be round and forward. So we're breathing here. And as we're here, we may be able to find space on our exhales and walk our hands a little closer to that foot. Taking a full inhale, full exhale, one more breath. And then we'll come out of it the same way that we came in. Slowly bending that right knee and then loosening in the strap to place the right foot down beside the left. Inhale, grow long in the spine, heart open. Exhale, bend the knees, folding over the thighs. Releasing the strap and this time, bringing the middle of the strap around the ball of the left foot. Taking either sides of the strap in both hands, lifting all the way up. We're starting to shift the weight into the right foot now, 
Our hips are staying nice and square. Bending the left knee, lifting the left foot. Walking the hands up the strap. Shoulders loop down the back. Finding a soft gaze on something out in front of you that's not moving. Tuning into your ujjayi breath as you start to extend that left leg. You can always keep a micro bend in that knee if you need to. And it's okay if the leg is here or if it's lifted here. Listening to your body. Remembering we're finding that nice long spine. Shoulders relaxed down the back. Feel on that left hip. Stay down in line with the right. You may walk your hands a little closer to your foot with your exhales. One more breath here. And then bend the left knee, releasing in the strap to release that left foot beside the right. Good, inhale, find length, heart open. Exhale, bend the knees, fold over the thighs. Release the strap from the left foot. Great, roll all the way up. Great, once you lift all the way up, we're gonna take the strap behind us. You're grabbing a hold of the strap with both hands and the hands are gonna be facing away from you. Take a full inhale, pressing evenly into both feet. As you exhale, bend the knees as much as you need to to fold over the thighs. Once you're here, you may start to take the arms over the shoulders as much as comfortable to you. Noticing where you can soften. Jaw is relaxed. As you inhale, breathing into the lower diaphragm. As you exhale, maybe release a little further into that space. I'll take one more full breath here. And then lift all the way up, keeping the knees bent as much as you need to. Good. Once you lift up, inhale, lift shoulders towards ears, and exhale and back and down. Great. Go ahead and walk to the front of your mat. We'll place the strap down at the front of our mat, lifting back up. Feel the shoulders loop down the back. Finding a nice strong mountain pose. Inhale, make fists with the hands. And exhale, spreading the fingers wide. Inhale, making fist. Exhale, spreading the fingers wide. Circle on the wrist in one direction. And taking them in the opposite. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Inhale, find that half lift. As you exhale, bring the fingertips in line with the toes. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. We're gonna allow that right heel to fall in. We're finding our warrior two. So our front foot is lined up in the middle arch of the back foot. Our hips are gonna be squared to the right side of our mat. Once your feet are aligned, go ahead and grab your strap and lift up. We're bending in that left knee and that left knee is tracking over the left ankle. If we look down, you want to be able to see the right big toe, maybe even the second toe. If you cannot see the big toe, go ahead and bring that left knee a little further out to your left. From here, we're going to take the strap behind us taking the strap in either hand 
and walking the hands in as much as you need to to find our long line of energy from fingertips to fingertips. So this is helping us keep the arms in line with the shoulders. Our gaze is over our left middle finger. Taking a full inhale. Full exhale. Allow the right hand to come to the top of the right thigh without pressing into the right knee. Left palm lifts up and over, reverse warrior. And then exhale, left hand's gonna come to the inside of the left foot. So we're gonna work on our bind here. From here, we're gonna keep the strap in the right hand. Take that right palm away from me and bring in that right hand to the lower back. We're gonna take the left hand underneath the left thigh and you're trying to grab a hold of the strap here. So we're working on our bind here. And as we're breathing, we're pressing that left arm into the left inner thigh. Seeing if we can find space to walk our hands a little closer together on the strap. So on that right shoulder open, you may lift your gaze, taking a full inhale. Full exhale. Eventually, you may walk the fingertips into each other, finding your full bond. And that's okay if that doesn't happen. The strap is a great prop to help you get the benefits of your bond. After your next breath, go ahead and release the bind, release the strap with the left hand. And you can just go ahead and place the strap back at the front of the mat, bringing the hands to the inside of the left foot, coming to the right toes, and then walking the hands forward, stepping the right foot up to meet the left. Good, finding your forward fold. If you need to bend one knee and the other, you can. Maybe shaking the head no. And yes. Great. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat. That left heel is going to fall in. The front foot is lined up in the middle arch of the back foot. Once you find your grounding, go ahead and lift up, taking your strap with you. That right knee is tracking over the right ankle. Remember, we want to be able to see our right big toe, maybe the second toe. And then we're gonna take the hands along the strap. The palms are down and finding length from fingertips to fingertips. Find an openness in the chest. Nice little inhale. Nice little exhale. Taking the left hand to the top of the left thigh, that right arm's gonna lift up and over. As you exhale, bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. We're gonna keep the strap in the left hand as we lift the left hand towards the sky. And then bringing that left hand away from you and bringing that hand to the lower back. We're gonna reach that right hand underneath the right thigh to grab a hold of our strap, pressing the right arm into the right inner thigh, feeling that left shoulder open, you may take your gaze up towards the sky. Finding your breath. Using your exhales to walk our hands a little closer together on the strap. Great, we'll take one more full breath here. Great, and then release out of your bond. Place the strap back at the front of the mat. Come into the left toes. The hands can come to the inside of that right foot. And then walk the hands forward, stepping the left foot up to meet the right. 
Good, go ahead and find your forward fold here once again. Maybe bend in one knee and the other. Release in any tension. Great, eventually we'll shake the head no. And yes. Bend the knees deep. Go ahead and walk the hands back to find your seat. Great, once you arrive, go ahead and grab a hold of your strap. We're gonna take the soles of the feet together, knees open wide. You can shift a little from side to side to find your grounding in your sits bones. And then take in the strap around your waist like a belt. So it's going to be in the same area that a belt would be. And once you have the strap around the waist, the strap is going to go over the tops of the legs. And then you want enough of the strap to go under the outside of the feet. Once you find that position, Go ahead and take the strap through both rings. So it's going away from me right now. And then I'm going to take it back through the ring closest to me. Once you have your strap in, you can start to tighten the strap. And you want to tighten the strap as much as you need to. And you can readjust the strap to have it in a good place where you can pull the strap towards you to tighten. What this posture is going to allow you to do using the strap for support is you're going to be able to find a little more length here and it's going to allow the hips to open. So as you're taking full breaths, you may be able to tighten your strap a little more. Bringing the hands to the ankles, finding a nice long spine. Shoulders loop down the back. Nice full inhales. Nice full exhales. Great. Then we'll take the hands behind us. And then starting to walk the hands out to the side until you can roll on to the back. The feet will come a little closer in, noticing how this deepens the stretch even more. The back of the neck is long. Feel the lower back release. Taking a full inhale. A full exhale. Allowing the breath to slow down. Finding stillness as you absorb your practice. Coming back to your intention that you set at the beginning of your practice. Finding your inner light as you come back to your connection with God. Taking one more breath here. And then going ahead and loosening in the strap and kind of pressing the tail of my strap away from me to find some release in my strap. And once you find enough space, go ahead and wiggle the feet out. 
And you can keep the strap where it is as long as it's not in your way. And then hugging one knee and the other into the chest. Pointing and flexing the toes. Can even rock a little from side to side. Great, eventually releasing the hands and rolling onto your right side to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Finding that nice long spine, allowing the hands to come face up to the knees. Taking three cleansing breaths here. Acknowledging how you feel. Acknowledging the difference from the beginning of your practice. Hands meet at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Thank you for sharing this time and your practice with me today. Blessings and namaste. The light within me honors the light within you. I hope that you enjoyed this practice with me. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know if you have any questions, if you would like to see more practices using straps and props, giving me any idea, any feedback. Thank you so much for joining again.